Japan, Val Nui, our boss, Lewandowski. Well, the pacemaker on the outside is uh, Meli of Kenya, he's 22. He's got the job of getting him underway. And as usual, Boss uh, will try and get himself into some considerable position. They, they go into the back straight right on the inside. Uh, El Gesser, a tall figure, has uh, gone into there, into second place. Up there also is uh, Hagaran of uh, Qatar. And uh, as they go through 200, the pacemaking is going very, very quickly and too quickly by my count. It's way ahead of the rest of this field, unless this is... Uh, yeah, he's gone way too far ahead of the rest. El Guess is there. El Malui is there. Amos is there. Boss just sitting in. Tuka at the back where he often is. And, of course, uh, Malufi also at the back. Well, actually, he went through in what he was asked to go through in, so the pacemaking, not bad. The rest didn't follow. Well, that's right. You can't blame the pacemaker. On the other hand, Stuart, they have to think on their feet, and maybe he's back, and they can see the field a long way back. I was amazed at how slowly McLuffy went out through the first 200 metres, but he's made his way up to the pack and probably running the most even splits right in the middle of that pack at the moment. He's got them in his sights, the three or four in front of him. Well, Manuri is leading the real race itself, and, of course, all of a sudden, the, the break is on, and Boss has really gone for this. He really is hammering it in. Round this bend, he's played it really well, and he's leading. Amos in second place, McLuffy in third, Tuka in fourth, and in fifth place, Lewandowski. But I tell you what, Boss has taken this one. They're not going to catch him. And Boss, who came off that bend so very quickly, McLuffy in second, uh, Atuka in third, Lewandowski in third, Amos absolutely nowhere. The time, 1.44.53. Well, Nigel Amos of Botswana found himself uh, in some considerable difficulty in that. He was absolutely nowhere in the final stages. But what about the effort uh, by Boss of France? He really went for that, 1.44.51, a season's best for him. And he ran that tactically brilliantly. It really was a good race in the end. Well, Boss ran a very, very mature race. You know, he races a lot and he races pretty consistently. But the way that he eased up to the shoulder of the leader there, of uh, Manawi, with 200 to go, change gear there going into the bend. Amos just didn't have that same gear to go to. And Boss around the crown on the bend. He is a big fellow, we mustn't forget that. He's about six foot two, six foot three. Kicks on the crown on the bend, into the straight, extended that lead. McLuffy misjudged it somewhat. He did finish very strongly with that 1500 meter run of strength. But he was just too far back at the bell, I think, to ever get on terms with Boss. Never gave himself a chance. Well, it was a good performance by Boss. Twice a world championship finalist. He was fifth in the 800s in uh, Beijing last year. 146.63, although those races are very tactical, so times don't matter. There's the result. Thierry Amboise, Bross, 144.51. Season's best. McLuffy in second. Tuka in third. Lewandowski in fourth. Pretty tight for the places, but uh, good run by Boss.